In this video I want to show you quickly how I use the debugger to actually write code. If you think about debugger, it usually means, well, we have a bug, we have to step in and look at the code. And it's definitely useful to fix issues. But I actually use it as well to, uh, to write my software every day. So to show an example what I actually mean, let's uh, try to um, query the GitHub API and see how this tremendously can save your time. I already made a virtual environment installing request. So here's the URL. And let's start with doing a request get. And right here, um, before 3.7, we had to do this. But now with 3.7, we can just um, type breakpoint and it will break into our default debugger, which is PDB. And you can even set an environment variable if you want to use IPDB or another debugger. But for now, PDB is enough. And right here, it drops into the debugger. So I can look at the response object and see that was okay. And I can look at the JSON, but that's kind of hard to read. So I can use the PP or pretty print. And now I have a better view of the response. So this is basically just a dictionary. And if I can reach the actual start, we can start to parse this. So we see it's composed of items. So let's try that first. And now we got one repo. So let's say we want to have the amount of stars, which is under stargazers. Stargazers count. And we also want the actual name, which would be TensorFlow in this case. So let me see where I can pick that up cleanly. Right, sorry. the org is TensorFlow and the actual repo is models so I can actually use the name attribute. So Cool. So now I wrote my actual code in the debugger. So I only have to now just copy the things I wrote and paste that into my script. Of course, being request I can do a race for status which will throw an exception if the status code or return is not 200 okay so getting past this statement we know that the request was um, successful and here I'm just looping through the items and of course we would do this in a function and make it reusable but this is just that's not the point of this uh, short training. This is just to show how I got to this code by using the debugger. So this seems fine. Yep, by the way, I'm using comma p as a vim shortcut to run my code when I'm still in the editor. So I would recommend 
uh, to look at your own editor and see if you can set up a alias to run your code like this because then you can just stay in your editor and it's it's all part of that faster workflow that will save you a lot of time so yeah that's the main point again of this uh, training to drop in a breakpoint when you're calling the API go into your debugger and play around with the objects and that really when I started doing that I just became faster at working with APIs and writing code when you kind of need to pause the execution. So anytime you want to pause the execution and you want to look at the objects in execution, a tremendously useful technique. So I hope this is helpful. And if you have any questions or comments, just reach out to me.